Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to share some information I found out about this Sylvania 7-inch uh, LCD screen. I got it on eBay for about 20 bucks, and when I first plugged in an audio jack to this AV import, I got no signal. So I was able to power it up, but using all of my existing Fat Shark and audio jack cables with mono, stereo or three signals on the jack, I couldn't get it to uh, show a video signal. So I opened it up and I figured out um, just through testing which pins go where. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So when you open up this display, um, there's going to be some wires running back and forth. This white ribbon cable is the main cable from the display to the board, so you want to be really careful not to damage this one. Um, it's a front locking connector, so in order to unlock it, you push this little brown bar forward. I'm not sure if you can see this. You slide it forward, and that unlocks the ZIF connector, and then you can just simply pull this ribbon out. Um, the blue stiffener is going to face towards you and the contacts on the stiffener, little silver guys, are going to be towards the LCD. So once that's disconnected, you're also going to want to remove the power cable going from the LCD to the main board. And that's just a standard type connector you can pull straight up with your fingers, like so. Um, next you're going to have these speaker wires that are soldered to the speakers. I just desoldered them. Um, the speaker drivers are actually labeled with positive and negative, so you can easily figure out where those wires should get soldered back in the future. Um, so here's where the real money is. Um, you've got four different pins on the audio jack connector, and I found out this is ground, and the one for video is all the way in the back. Um, and that is probably the reason why my audio jack connectors weren't getting there is the other ones must have had video on a different signal or maybe um, that spring is damaged but for whatever reason video you want on this very first pin and ground on the back so I just did some testing and soldered the video to this RCA plug um, ground was attached there but you can see the solder joint just broke and that worked. Okay, let's modify this cable in the name of science. So all these strands on the outside are ground. I'm gonna twist those together. And this is what I'll be soldering to that first pin. The center pin inside this insulation is our video signal. And that's going to go to the pin in the back. Okay, let's see. I want to make sure this doesn't short out where I don't want it to. Oh, it is ground, so maybe there's not much harm in it floating around, but again, don't want to short. Like if it hits some other voltage or signal, I think that would be bad. So, heat shrink. Maybe a little less. Okay, ground and video signal. Pretend my wires. Okay. There's 
ground. And there's my video signal. Alright, that's pretty sturdy. I'm going to figure out a way to route this cable out nicely. And Alright everybody, so to recap, the audio jack connector on this display requires some sort of custom length plug. So your standard audio jack will not get far enough into the plug, into the receptacle, to send the video signal to the board. So I tried opening it up and modifying the pins didn't work because the video signal comes out of the tip and there's really just no plug that I could find that was long enough. You could go on eBay and buy the custom plug that is set up for this monitor or you can do what I did and take a standard um, RCA plug, cut off one end of the connector and solder the signal to the very back pin and the ground to the pin closest to the outside of the monitor. So when you do that, you just end up with this cable running out and you can plug this into any video source and it should work. Thanks for watching.